Welcome back to Mr. Mentis ELL Classroom. This is continuing our section on Chapter 17 of the Blue Book, which focuses on the past tense and the verb to be. That is a lot of was and were. To complete this lesson, you're going to need this textbook page, page 160, which you can find in the description of the YouTube video. This page you do not need to print. Just read it. Okay, just have it ready on your computer. And then you will need this page, uh, page 131 in the activity book. This page you do need to print. So make sure you have this one printed out. If you don't have access to a printer, pull it up on a computer so you can read it and write the answers on a separate sheet of paper. All right, so last time we talked a lot about was and were. Today we're going to talk a little bit about negatives. That is wasn't and weren't. Okay? So, in our example, were you at the ball game last night? So we've got our blue box here to kind of map out the rule. And as we can see, just like with was and were, our basic divide is we have the words I, he, she, and it. Those They go with wasn't. And then we have the words we, you, and they. They go with weren't. And of course, wasn't it means was not. I'll, I'll zoom in on this in a minute. There we go. Okay. So, wasn't means was not, and weren't means were not. Okay? So, it's another contraction just like it's or didn't. Okay. So, I wasn't, he wasn't. She wasn't, it wasn't, we weren't, you weren't, they weren't. Got it? Okay. So, let's see our example conversation here. Okay. Got two people talking, and then they've got a picture of uh, what he's thinking about. So he says, were you at the ball game last night? And he answered, no. I wasn't. I was at the movies. Okay? So we're practicing saying no when we talked about the past. That's what we're doing on this page. No, I wasn't. Okay? So, we've got number one. Was Albert happy yesterday? Okay? So you're going to do a couple of things here. First, we're going to answer this. We're going to say, no, he wasn't. Okay? So you got to remember your pronouns. You got to remember um, you say was versus weren't. You know, so you, you know we're not going to say no, we weren't. You're going to say no, he wasn't. And then you're going to give me a second sentence. You're going to give me two sentences and tell me what the truth was. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was sad. See? No, he wasn't. He was sad. Two sentences, okay? And we're going to do that for each one of these, okay? Now, you'll notice I didn't have the word sad written here anywhere. Just this is the last chapter of the book. This is the end of the book, and by this time, they trust that you remember these adjectives and their opposites, okay? If you forgot, you can go back to the first part of this lesson when we went over the vocab at the beginning. You remember that? But now, they're not making it easy for you, so you just had to say sad from there. All right? So, I think I can afford to be gracious. Let's look at this one to make sure we get it. The question is, were they at home this morning? Okay? So your answer is going to be, no, they weren't, period. Second, they were at school. See, because you can see they're at school. You get that? So what I want you to do is take a sheet of notebook paper and write the answers, okay? So for number one, you're going to write, no, he wasn't, he was sad. For number two, you're going to write, no, they weren't, they were at school, okay? Make sure you have two sentences with capital letters and periods, make sure you remember your apostrophes, okay? You write the answers for all of these on your own, 
And then when you get down to number nine, come back to me. I'll go over the answers with you, okay? So you can pause the video now and write those answers, all right? Pause the video now, write the answers. I will take this opportunity to have a drink of coffee while you work. Mm. All right. Did you pause the video and write all the answers? All right, let's go over them then. So number one and number two I did for you. Number three, was it cold yesterday? No, it wasn't, period. It was hot, period. Number four. Was your grandfather a doctor? Ooh, this one might be tricky. No, he wasn't, period. He was an actor. A-C-T-O-R, actor. Okay. Number five. Was I a quiet baby? No, you weren't. Remember, if one person said the question for I, the other person will answer you. Okay? So, no, you weren't. You were noisy. Or if you said loud, that would be also good. You were noisy. You were loud. Those are our two answers that we can have for that. Number six. Were you at home last weekend? Now notice, there's two people when we're talking about you, okay? So it would be, no, we weren't. Make sure you wrote we, okay? They're always playing that trick on you. No, we weren't. We were at the beach, I think. Beach, B-E-A-C-H. Remember your periods. We remember your periods? Okay, number seven. Was Gloria on time for her plane? No, she wasn't. She was late. Number eight. Were your children late for the school bus? No, they weren't. They were on time. Was the food good at the restaurant? No, it wasn't, period. It was terrible. Or maybe it was bad. There's a couple of words we could put there. It was awful. It was terrible. It was not very good. It was gross. There's a lot of words in English that just mean bad. But I think you get the idea. Okay, good. Let's go on to the next page. Next page. So now, pretty much the same thing. We're going to be keep practicing those same ideas. You've got to fill in the blanks here. Okay, so I will go over the example with you. Number one, were you at the concert last night? No, I wasn't. I was at a play. Okay? So pretty much the same thing, only now you're just filling in one word. If you could do that page, I think you can do this page. So, pause it now and fill in the blanks. I'll wait. Okay, did you pause it and write, uh, write all the answers? Let's go over. Number two. Were your neighbors quiet last Saturday night? No, they weren't. They were very noisy. Number three. Was your boss in the office yesterday? No, she wasn't. She was on vacation. Number four. Were we at home last Tuesday? No, we weren't. We were at the mall. Number five. 
Were the questions on the examination easy? No, they weren't. They were very difficult. Number six. Was Timothy on time for his wedding? No, he wasn't. He was late. Okay. And the listening for this one, we're not going to worry about the listening for this one. So, that's the end of this video. Good work. I will see you at the next one.